Well, there you have it. Today's closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. The Dow Jones started the day in the red, and then you can see rebounded and finished more than 350 points up. The S&P and the Nasdaq also had very strong days today. S&P jumped more than one and a half percent, and the Nasdaq is up two and a half percent. Joining us now is Robert Schein. He is the Chief Investment Officer for Blanky Schein Wealth Management. Robert, thanks for joining us. So shares of First Republic Bank erased earlier losses today after a group of 11 major banks began working on a $30 billion rescue plan. And it's fascinating because we watched the impact on the markets almost in real time. Will this affect the stability of other regional banks? Well, what we're seeing play out real time is a crisis in confidence on the regional bank side and the super regionals. And I applaud the quick action that we're seeing play out in the private sector, if you will, from the 11 big banks. It's almost like history repeated itself back in long-term capital management, if you recall, in 1998. Uh, they basically passed the hat around when a hedge fund blew up, but immediately two things happen as a result. It stemmed the tide with regards to a crisis that basically could have, you know, gone further in Wall Street, but it also stopped the Fed. And we also uh, pushed pause back in 1998 from the Fed's rate hike uh, cycle. So that's kind of what's playing out right now. And the equity market's sniffing that out as well. Well, that's really interesting, Robert, especially as we're looking at what the Fed's going to do next. Uh, we also were listening to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen today. She was testifying before the Senate Finance Committee. We heard her really touting the U.S. government's actions, calling them decisive, following the failure of the two other banks. And, and she was really trying to reassure members that the banking system is sound. And, it's, and it, it almost seemed like she was trying to reassure not just the rest of America, but the rest of the international community that the banking system is sound. Do you think she was effective in doing that? I most definitely do. I, I think the key here, actually, the timing was perfect to have her on the Capitol Hill. She was there to testify on uh, on a different uh, subject today, but all eyes were on Janet Yellen. And ultimately, she reiterated the fact that, uh, you know, policymakers over the weekend got together and they were decisive. Uh, deposits are safe. They will be backstopped. And the financial system is sound in the banking system. I, I think the biggest takeaway is the quickness of the reaction. If you recall, and this isn't in uh, 2007, 2008 uh, period in time, uh, but back then it was slow moving on legislators' standpoint that made things even worse. But right now, the decisive action, the quick action, is very helpful. And again, the equity markets like it. Robert, you mentioned interest rates a moment ago. We've had a number of economic indicators this week, in addition to today's stock market figures, including falling mortgage rates and jobless claims. How does all of this play into the Fed's decision about interest rate hikes next week? Yeah, this time next week, uh, we will know the ultimate decision, whether it's 25 basis points, which was expected actually even two weeks ago was almost a half a percent uh, in terms of increase for the interest rate. But that's now put on pause because of the evolving sort of volatility in the banking sector. We believe we're going to see potentially a hawkish pause or a dovish hike. I think we're going to see 25 basis points where the Federal Reserve continues their credibility, they go 25 basis points, but they're dovish in their language saying they're data dependent moving forward. So we could see next week uh, the last rate hike for 2023. And what do you think the message could be then uh, that that sends uh, if you're an investor and you're hearing that kind of more, as you put it, dovish tone out of the Fed? Ultimately, this is what the Fed has been looking for, um, is sort of that that you know they raised rates until something broke and something recently in the banking sector just broke mm. and so that gives them cover because now you're going to see reduced expectations from earnings uh you know we could see a recession in the u.s uh sort of materialize within the next four months historically when you see the yield curve sort of de-invert as it has last two weeks uh in about four months or so, we could see sort of the slowdown in the U.S. economy as a result. And and uh, that could help the Fed and ultimately risk assets moving forward, meaning that uh, sort of the slowdown uh, of increasing rates is upon us. All right, Robert Shine. Robert, thanks so much for sharing your expertise with us.